So, uh, more ship lap time. So what, what kind of wood are we getting? And this is the MDF ship lap. So we're getting this is the for good the stuff. Uh, this is for the home theater wall. Where are we? At your favorite store. This is not our favorite yeah. store. This is not. <laughs> this is Home Depot. You love this place. No, no I don't. No, you don't. Okay, the bananas are at it again. Here we go. So what are more, we doing here? More shiplap. Just ship loading onto on the, the truck. Following my husband with a truckload of ship laps. Um, we're doing vertical ship lap for this wall instead of the horizontal. So we got more boards um, and this is the, uh, I don't know what you call it, but when you apply it vertically you have to have those wooden things on the studs. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Okay, so we are doing vertical ship lap. So what I did was, zoom in on this here. I have just oh, marked- Oh, look at these. Look at these awesome holes. Thanks, Dave. I just marked the studs right here. So everywhere there's a stud, we just mark. Okay, I missed one here. How come there's- how come there's one here and then there's like some here? I don't know. Yeah. Stud finder, and then you mark the studs along your wall. So you put a there you put a mark there, mark, mark, and then you basically have to just take a level, and then you draw a straight line all the way from top to bottom. Straight line. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm like so. Much better if you were taller. But she's gonna go as high as I can.
makeshift workbench. Uh, I'm kind of scared. You better not cut the so granite. We're making, we've cut the template for one of the sockets over there. I'll tell you if you're getting close. Yeah. Very nice. Day. That's why I got an aim wood shop. Did you even take wood shop? I did. Pat out, pat out. Oh. <laughs> so right now we're making measurements. This is the the custom cuts that goes underneath the uh, TV mount. Check out my cool. Borchachi. Borchachi. <laughs> Borchachi. Well, yeah, that's what it's called, Borchachi. Yeah. I take my eyes from the desk. Made by Borchachi. <laughs> that's Borchachi on the floor. <laughs> Borchachi on the floor. Just in my eyes, thanks to my Berchachis. So here's the progress so far. We're almost done. I'm just gonna finish up laying the plank. And then we will Okay, I'm heading to the paint store to get some paint for the ship lap. Um, we were initially going to go with a paint can that we already had, uh, Watery, which is the paint that I was going to use to paint Audrey's room. Um, but I am changing my mind. I think that one is a little too blue, maybe too bright. So I'm going to go for like a more subtle grayish, greenish, bluish tone. Um, and this paint, I have to uh, get it frazy. So that's where I'm heading to now. And then hopefully I can finish this today. We're doing the very last piece in that corner. And uh, so we, we've made the measurement. It's a little bit off, but we're gonna be using this circular saw to cut it through. Hopefully I cut it straight. So here we go. What we're doing now is we are going to patch up the nail holes that we made with a nail gun using uh, some putty. So, um, painter's putty. Yeah, painter's putty. And this is the one that's already pre mixed, I think. Just open this up. Okay. And you just take a spatula like so, take a little bit of the painter's putty, and then let's just do this one as an example. And you basically, this is kind of really thick. You know what? I need another spatula. This one has like residue. Do we have one that's like new? I don't think so. Okay. Well, that's all we're doing. We're just going to patch up the holes and then smooth it out. Give me a close up over here.
Mm -hmm. and so that's a few holes down and like a thousand to go. <laughs> I'm gonna let two thousand. Okay, I have patched up all the holes and basically now I am just going to kind of go over it again with my spatula. So I have finished uh, shaving off the excess putty on the, on the wall. So um, the holes have been patched, the nail holes, and now it's ready to be painted. We chose this color from Frazy Paint. Um, it is called New Peak, and it's kind of like this bluish, grayish, greenish tone that um, should complement our existing paint uh, chopstick very well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and paint all of the edges there and go from there. All right, so let's open this up. So, what I am doing now is I'm just taking a paintbrush and then I'm having to um, paint like the inner part of this first before I can paint the outer. I'm going to have to paint inside the cracks here where the um, roller is not going to reach. Finishing up uh, the cracks on the top to make it easier on my wife painting and painting the trim. So aside from that, just gotta make sure that you know, flexing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so now we are painting the ship lap and the color that we chose. Oh, quite lovely. What do you think, honey? Looks good. You gotta see it from far away, but right now it looks good. After it dries, you gotta see what it looks like. And then we also chose a um, semi gloss, so it's not, you know, it's not too matte. It's really easy to paint the MDF because it's like. 